Doctor, you briefly touched on honokiel and, and uh, cancer uh, properties. Can you talk about how it's used as a cancer therapy? Yeah, of course, Scott. Honokiol is a very exciting compound when it comes to cancer therapy and it's getting a lot of attention. In fact, I'm going to talk at the end of this week in a very big cancer conference about the properties of honokiol from my own clinical experience and my research. Honokiol can work on cancer in multiple mechanisms. First of all, it has a direct cytotoxic effect. It has a direct cancer killing effect on multiple cell lines, from melanoma to to sarcoma, to brain tumors, to, to, to pancreatic cancer, to prostate cancer, to breast cancer. It really has a, 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 a very powerful anti-cancer effect on a wide variety of cancers. Because it penetrates the blood-brain barrier, it can also affect brain tumors, which is a very important feature. But there are a number of other features that make onocule, I think, really unparalleled. I think that curcumin has some similarities, but there are some benefits to Onocule even beyond, beyond, the, beyond what, 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 what we see in research with curcumin. Honokiol is a selective pro-oxidant, which is similar to vitamin C. Vitamin C in low dosage is an antioxidant, and in high dosages becomes a pro-oxidant, and that's why the vitamin C IVs at high dosages have an anti-cancer effect. Why? Because normal cells have a very powerful antioxidant mechanism through the glutathione pathways. So if we have high oxidative stress, we are able to use antioxidants and, and neutralize the free radicals. Cancer cells have a deficiency, have a weakness in the antioxidant capacity, and therefore they cannot handle oxidative stress. Honokiol selectively will be a prooxidant against cancer cells, but will be an antioxidant against normal tissue. That's especially important because of the relationship that we are now just learning about between the cancer cell and the environment of the cancer cell. While we want to increase oxidative stress inside the cancer cell, and onocule is a contributor, and we can use other compounds, drugs like metformin, metabolic issues, DCA, and others, we want to lower the oxidative stress outside of the cancer cells. We want to avoid having an acidotic environment so there is less oxidative stress, there is good oxygen coming, because if we don't have, if we have hypoxia and high oxidative stress, the tissue will respond with releasing of growth factors which will make the cancer grow faster. So this is the important mechanism of honokiol as a prooxidant, and naturally you can use it with high dose vitamin C. You can also use it with heat therapy because heat increases metabolism, increases oxidative stress, and you can put onocule. So we can see how onocule can be used with vitamin C IV and with other, with other treatments such as heat therapy that increases oxidative stress and metabolism. It's another adjunct to multiple therapies in integrative oncology. So we talked about the ability of onocule to have a direct cytotoxic effect, its prooxidant, and its ability to differentiate cancer cells, which means move cancer cells from being more aggressive to less aggressive, possibly moving cells from being cancer cells to being normal cells. And this and onocule was found to have this property, especially on leukemia cells. Another very important aspect of onocule that it works on a pathway called mTOR1. mTOR1 is a pathway that allows cancer stem cells, the stem cells of cancer that start the cancer and also the cells that survive treatments, mm. that actually, the cells that mutate and allow the cancer to metastasize and allow to have a re reoccurrence of cancer. One of the issues, let's say that you give a certain chemotherapy. For example, let's say that you give a taxon, a ta a taxol as a chemotherapy. Studies have shown when you look at a tumor mass, a certain percentage of, this, of the tumor includes cancer stem cells. They are the ones who are resistant. After treatment with Taxol, when you actually have a recurrence, the new tumor has not only a higher percentage of cancer stem cells, but even a higher absolute number. So now, Scott, you get a resistant tumor. For example, it was shown that curcumin can help when you give Taxol with curcumin, you get less cancer stem cells, and then you get a longer remission. Honokiel has a similar property. 
But the nonquial specifically works through the mTOR1. There's also a drug called metformin that works through mTOR1. So now when you give cancer therapy, you give chemotherapy, you give radiation therapy, you can give honokiol as a supplement that will attack the cancer stem cells and therefore will increase the chance for a cure or for a longer remission. And that's really exciting. But there's much more. Honokiol was found to be synergistic with multiple chem chemotherapy drugs. James R. is an example and others. So it's very safe to use an ocule with other chemotherapy drugs, and we know why. It says it increases oxidative stress because of being a pro-oxidant. It works through mTOR1, and, and, it, it, and it really creates a synergistic effect with multiple compounds. Honokiol, for example, was found to radiosensitize colon cancer cells, which means if you give honokiol, the colon cancer cells will be more sensitive to radiation therapy. Again, the prooxidant and the mTOR1. So we can see how onocule can be used with radiation therapy. We specifically have studied onocule on multiple cell lines and found very significant responses. We haven't published yet on prostate cancer, on breast cancer, on liver cancer. We're doing a big study now on onocule in bladder cancer on its own and with cisplatinum. But what we found, onocule has a very well-known, well-published anti-metastatic effect, which is really critical. And we can see how it relates, right? We talked about the cancer stem cells. If you can prevent the cancer stem cell from growing, you're going to prevent the metastasis. Mm -hmm. We know that modified cytospectin that I've done so much work on has a well-established, clinically proven anti-metastatic effect. We have now are finishing in vitro studies showing that honokiol and our MCP have a synergistic anti-metastatic effect. This means that when you look at the anti-metastatic effects of MCP on its own, the anti-metastatic effects of honokiol on its own, when you combine both of them together, you get a synergistic effect, a much stronger anti-metastatic effect. So that's really exciting because you have two compounds that you know work on their own. So of course, if you integrate them, it's very exciting. So this is really shows why honokiol has such a potential. It is very safe. The only side effect that some people have from monocule is that sometimes they have, they have some stomach discomfort, mainly diarrhea, but it's dose dependent. You lower the zod, if you lower the dose or you stop it, it will go away. So I recommend to start monocule very gradually. You start with 250 milligram twice a day and you add one capsule a day until you get to one gram three times a day. People have no problem with with tolerating three grams a day. And for patients who tolerate three grams a day, I'm now going to higher dosages, four or five grams a day, because of the important anti-cancer effect.